Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to show you how you can use a really simple data entry method what uses a form already built into Excel. So in order to do this we're going to first need to define the fields we want to capture the information, uh, insert a table, uh, so it's all captured within a table in Excel, and then we'll show you how to um, access and use the form. So the first thing we need to do is to define the fields we wish to capture information for. So to do this we're just going to go into row number one and start in column A and just enter five fields uh, of information that we want to capture. So first one's going to have is first name, so this is obviously for an individual, we then got last name, we then may have their country, address, and let's just go really random and go favourite colour. If I could spell. There we go, we got there. <laughs> My keyboard is going a bit slow, but we made it there eventually. So we can see we've got our five fields. So the next thing we need to do is to, at the moment obviously these are just headers in columns, but we want to turn this into a table, what's going to allow our form to work with the data. So next thing we need to do is select all of those values we just entered into row number one, go to our uh, insert tab within the ribbon and just select table. So the two parts you see in this pop-up, so the first is the range we just now selected, so it's just confirming we're happy with this range. And then we need to just tick this box here what says my table has headers. So what this will do, it will just let Excel know that the range of selected is actually the headers um, for the table or the field, should we say. Uh, and alternatively, if you had entered multiple rows or uh, highlighted multiple rows in this range, again, it will just indicate to Excel that the first uh, row within that range is the actual column headers. So once you've done that, you can select OK. And you can see, because of the change of formatting, that this range has now changed into a table. And also, we've got a different uh, piece of information. So if I select out the side here, you can see how our ribbon looks now. If we select into our table, we now have some table tools. So we've got this new subgroup here. And within that, we can see that our table has defaultly been named to table two. Uh, if you were using a fresh Excel document, yours would default to table number one. It's just that we've obviously uh, been through this uh, already prior to recording this video, hence it's now capturing a, a second table. So once we've got our table in there, uh, we're ready to start entering or using our form. To do that, uh, all we need to do is navigate to our file tab, scroll down the left-hand side, and you'll see the option here, or the option for options. So we select options, and then we'll get this pop up here. The one we're interested in is the customized ribbon, so go to there. And you can see this is where we're able to add uh, new uh, fields and groups to our ribbon. So what we need to do is, from the first, col uh, first column that contains all the information, it will default to popular commands. So what we need to do is just select that drop down and go to commands not in the ribbon. If we scroll down through this list, what's in alphabetical order, you'll eventually find a form. What's this one here now just about in the middle of the screen? Cool. So before we can do that, we just now need to add a new or create a new tab within our ribbon. Uh, so just for uh, definition's sake, as you look at the ribbon here, you can see that the first row information, what contains so home, insert page layout, these are tabs. And then within that, and then we're currently selected in uh, the table at the moment, you can see that if you were to go into one of those tabs, you'd have different groups. So we've got properties and tools that are all separated by this vertical line. So the tabs are tabs, and the groups are obviously these different groups within each of those tabs. So I'm just going to create uh, a new tab and rename that. Oh, So if you select the, the tab, you should be able to then go into rename. Maybe if I unselect the rename. And for some reason, unknown to myself, it's not letting me rename. I'm assuming it's going to be the same for this as well. So go rename. Nope, it's not having any of it. Either way, you should then be able to obviously right click or use the option here uh, to rename uh, that, inf uh, that current tab or group. It makes it obviously a bit easier when you're navigating and you can clearly see what it is. But obviously it's not working for me. But the most important part is to then select this new group that I've entered in here. And then we can go back over to the left hand side to find our form and we can now use the add button to add our form to that new group we've created. And you can see it's just fitted in there. I'm just going to try and rename this one more time because it was really bugging me. No, it's not having any of it whatsoever. 
Okay, well, we will continue on and just go with new tab. You need to obviously make sure it's ticked so it's visible in the ribbon. If you don't have it, if you uh, yeah, don't have it ticked, then it's not going to show. Uh, but yeah, just make sure that's ticked and that'd be perfect. So once you've done that, if you just click OK, you can see that our new new tab is now available in the ribbon. So once selected, you can see we've got again the new group and our form sits there. Great. So we've got our table inserted and we've got our form ready to use. So in order to now enter information, all we need to do is select our table range. And like I said, I'm going to select the range, but all you need to do is just have your cursor within that table. So once you've got your, uh, you have your cursor within that table, navigate to your ribbon and select the form button, and you'll get this pop up what comes up here. So I'll quickly do that again because I did it quite quickly. So say you're somewhere randomly selected in Excel, just select into your table, and then select the form button, and you will get this pop up. And then obviously all of our fields are listed here. So I can now simply run down these and just populate some random names. So John Smith, um, we'll go country is in England. His address is number one, uh, somewhere road. Favorite color, we'll go for blue. So once you've entered that information, what you can then do is simply either click with your mouse or if you continue to push tab when you're going through those fields and hit enter or select the new button, you can see that that information has then been captured and stored in our table. So I think it's a bit glitchy and slow going over there, but you can now see that that John Sniff information is now captured in row number two of our table. And we can keep going down here, so we can enter a new, a new information, so Homer Simpson, country, go USA, address, Springfield, our favorite color might be yellow, go new, and you can see that we can just keep entering these down and it's going to keep adding information in there for us. The other benefit of this as well is uh, if you're trying to look at the information. So when you've got a lot of columns of fields, it's sometimes quite hard to see it in the, when it's horizontally presented. But what we can do here as well, we can use our previous and next buttons to navigate back to the information so we can see what that looks like in the form. Particularly useful if we now need to change something. So let's say Homer Simpson, we want to change his country to uh, United States uh, and then go into, uh, I don't know, maybe go to next. Oh, let's go new. Yeah, you can see that it's now updated that uh, within our data. So, and then obviously to get out of the form, all you need to do is go close. And this is just a really simple way of using and doing data entry into Excel um, rather than maybe sort of having to tab across, find your new row, so on and so forth. So we hope you found that video useful. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up as it would be greatly appreciated by us. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification button so you are notified as soon as any of our new videos come out. Uh, we've got links in the description of this video to our Instagram, our Facebook page, and also our website. So if you have any questions at all, or if you're not following, obviously go check those pages out and give them a follow. Uh, then go do go to those to check out and reach out to us there, like I say, if you have any questions. Alternatively, drop us a comment below this video and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video.